All right, folks, we're trying it out. Our world it is sounded broken, interesting. Stagnant. Fallen into the Shout abyss. out to Lurkit and I think Starry Studios is the name of the company behind this key to try out this closed beta. There's a link down below. But everything is born from That's darkness. Affiliate disclaimer Even out of the, the way. So itself. shout out to them for the key. This game looks like an interesting now, blend. Do you see it? A glimmer within the void. Of like the sci -fi. spark of life still burns, and evolution forges a new way forward. Once your faith overcomes despair, once you move beyond death. Once life returns to this world. We'll meet beyond that path. Character creation here, looks like. Um, a lot of our variety options that you can choose from. It's not uh, usually important to me at this point in time, but... It's there. Facial options. So it's fairly robust. Hair and makeup. You can't have a beard. It's all good. It's kind of a interesting Sean Bean looking character. I don't mind that right there. Uh, let's just call this guy, um, something. Call him Ren Test 1, because that's what he is. So we get a quick we dossier. Negative 195.79 Celsius. Physical movement or brain function not detected. Subject status stable. Dagger still stuck in the sheath. Okay. Inspection 481 complete. <sighs> Requesting a higher power outlay for the isolation chamber to prevent any further outages. What's that? Security breach. Security breach. What the heck? <laughs> that can't be good. <laughs> that can't be good at all, man. Me? Is that like a dagger? Is that the dagger he was talking about? The knife he was talking about? Oh yeah, it was. Hold F. That is the world as we know it, everybody. Activator. I'm assuming hit F again to use it. Yeah. All right. Um, canned lunch meat, boiled water, take all. Always keep an eye on your hydration, energy, HP. Okay, so I need to eat some food. That'll fill that bar, yep. And then we need to drink some drink. And that'll fill that bar, not as much. One more. Okay, you can sprint faster with a lower stamina cost when you're full up. All right. Two little chambers. There's a 
body. Something on the desk right there. Subject A073 is an adult human. Race blank, gender blank, identity unknown. Subject's body has been in state of stasis ever since being recovered from blank following blank. The cause for reappearance is still unknown. Subject has been impaled by an object made of unknown material. Like the origin of the rift space. Subject has been placed in isolation compartment as per safety protocols. I'm assuming the blanked out stuff is related to uh, the actual game. And they're just blocking that out for since it's a beta. It's like, well, we can give you some of the story, but we don't want to give you all the story. I don't know. Or it could just be the way they're doing it this way. I'm not sure. Or maybe it's my memory and I'm supposed to gain my memory to learn about my past, fill in those blanks. There's a memo here, it says. A073 project secure notice. Access code for chrono cage experiment area must be changed daily. Today's code for D23 experiment day 0728. Code has been updated, confirmed. Today's code. I wonder if I have to manually remember this. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> uh, update the code. All right. Tasks you're tracking. It says that you need to enter the password. Okay, it's giving me a um, waypoint. Input. Oh shit, I gotta remember it. Is it zero two seven eight? No. <laughs> It was zero two seven. Okay, there we go. I remembered it. At least I got out of the second try. I didn't fail horribly. Find the access card. Probably on the body. Note: An intact cradle was recovered near subjects A zero seven three with a design and manufacture consistent with those used by the Mayflies. Energy stored within the cradle shows unusual activity. Unusual signs of activity seems to become more volatile when near subject. 073. The cradle has been placed in a separate room for safekeeping until more research can be conducted. Okay. Swipe. Okay, that opened a door. Cutscene. Okay, that was creepy. So that's him wearing the suit. Flashback. What the heck? What just happened? Did we just put it on and we were flashing back to something or are we in a different time here? Talk to the strange bird. Oops. Well, it's good to see another face. I thought I was on my own and you're a metahuman too. What's, uh, what's a metahuman? I don't know who you are, but I know what you are. You awakened the cradle, and that's something only a metahuman could do. Do you remember who you are? Oh my goodness, okay, no, I don't remember. It must have been that fluctuation just now. It trapped me in the cradle. It could have robbed you of your memories. You can call me V. It seems that our interests are aligned, metahuman. Okay, <laughs> why are you here? Let's ignore the fact it's a talking bird for a minute. I came to secure a deviation, a paper butterfly. But I think something must have scared it. What? Now, though, deviation, paper butterfly? I can show you the way out of this place, but only if you help me complete my mission first. All you have to do is listen to what I tell you. So this is the tutorial, but still, we're getting we're getting name drops and stuff. Explore the monolith interior and find the exit. Optional. Press Q to use space time to search for items. So let's press Q. See, one of the times I tried it earlier, this I didn't have audio for like the snap and the machete and everything. So this time, oh yeah, that's cool. All right, um, explore them. I oh, said so we got a doorway. Whoa, did we just teleport? That was a cool VFX. Uh, also a cool sound effects, man. All right, fair enough. Oh, there's something over there. I think. All right, weapons crate. Machete. Yeah, I got audio now. Perfect. All right, sweet. All right. I wouldn't mind upping the uh, the speed of the um, heavy attacks. 
Light attacks. Holster your weapon. Did it tell me how to block? It might have, and I just didn't see it. Okay, so it shows me that thing highlighted down there. Okay, that's interesting. Alright. You know what I would love is a uh, auto run feature. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. That's a creepy something. Gear crate. Rustic hat. Okay. Open your gear backpack. The armor you currently have equipped is displayed in your armor slot. Just click to remove or switch out your armor. Oh, so you can have different head slots, different masks, different armors, different pants, different gloves, different boots. Copy that. Copy that, man. All right. How come that creepy thing didn't show up as highlighted? That has been infected with Stardust. It's called a deviant. Our world has been overrun with deviants ever since Starfall. Ordinary humans can't take high levels of Stardust exposure. When they do, they end up just like. But you're a metahuman. Hang on. You should be fine. In fact, if the conditions are right. You might even be able to use Stardust to your advantage. They just dropped a ton of lore on us. Starfall, Stardust. Um, so apparently something called Starfall hit the planet, and Stardust is affecting the planet, and Stardust turns you into whatever these creatures are. These gnars, gnars. All right, he, I pick up an activator. Okay. There's another one of those critters, man. This one's a watcher. It's got like a lamp for a head, but it's like organic mixed with... Dude, that's like a weird mixture of um, like organic and uh, machine. Remember the, was it the Geth in um, Mass Effect? Molotov cocktail, baby. Alright, we can go up the stairs now. Notes can be scattered all over the world. Read them to learn more about Nalcott's past. Notes are also stored in the collections menu. This is a priority alpha research operation. Any findings related to it or Project Butterfly must be directly reported to blank. This operation has been designated top secret. Any personnel who violate its confidentiality will be subject to termination. Oh, we got a red door and a blue door. Let's take the one that's close here. Blue. Looking through to some sort of a box. Ooh, go back. Hang on. There was a little wonky movement there, like there was a collider or something. That's what it's. That's what the beta is about, baby. Add and polish. Hang on, I just saw something it was like an option to like stomp on, but I was going so quickly and I didn't get a chance to do it. I think you can stomp it when it's down. Alright, gear crate. Take it all. It's got some new shoes at least. Um what did they say was the flashlight? N. Gotcha, okay. Yeah, there's look, there's a weird collider issue when you run up to these crates. That's kind of funky. Okay. Whoa, 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 what was that? Investigation report. Deviation of unknown level detected in the research area. Deviation appears to consist of multiple floating butterflies. Oh, they're coming out of the door. Isolation compartments may be compromised. Okay, but what does that mean? Paper butterflies. 
Look at them. They're coming through the door. That is trippy, man. And there's an altar, Im an after image. What the hell? Oh, I'm going to touch it. That's real smart. Whoa. I'm in some sort of dream world now. Dude, so far I am loving the sci-fi vibes here, man. Spatial theater. Spatial fluctuations often cause anomalies in time, allowing past scenes to be witnessed once again. Activate space-time to locate spatial theaters, where events and people from the past may reappear, potentially revealing hidden truths. Alright. Space time detected. My name is Victor Hammond. What's your name? I don't know. I just know I'm a monster. My mom, my dad, they're gone. It was all my fault. Hey, hey. Try and stay calm. I'm here to help you. No one can help me. It would be better for everyone if I just... Just leave me alone, please. I'm afraid I can't do that. And you're not a monster. In fact, you're very, very special. You just need to learn how to control your own strength. Once you do that, you can help fix this broken world. We can do that together. All right. Uh, okay. My butterfly. It's flying. Yes. Your first deviation. Deviation. And look how gentle it is. I remember my name now. It's Mitsuko. It means child of light. It's my first creation. I will create more. So the, the capitalization of these words is very important because it's all sorts of lore snippets, man. This is this is great. I gotta say the story so far has 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 got me. It's, it's good. The story's good so far. Alright, let's try it one more time. We need something powerful. Challenge the evolutionists, and I think I've finally found it. You, we can secure other deviations. We can use them to forge a new. She's path. got wings this now. This will be the Mayfly's mission. Mayfly. This is why we'll fight. Mayflies. That's right, Mayflies. Small, yet invincible. Okay. So someone was grooming her, or I don't. We. I don't know. We'll find out. They were turning her into something. Special powers. It's like 11, man. Ooh. What the hell, dude? He's got like a suitcase for a mouth. The other guy had like a lamp light, remember? A control? Whoa, whoa, no. I can control. What? Hang on. I want to just discard it. That was cool. I didn't know I could do something like that. What? I have powers too? Got some gloves. Like, I can control... What the hell, man? So, it's like suddenly I have powers. There's a door right there. What? I just one-shot it. So, this is like a weapon? What the hell? The deviation. We found it. Reach out your left hand. See if you can feel the rhythm of it. Then try and secure it. Capture deviation. Success rate depends on gloves. On gloves. Equips relevant attributes? What? Item obtained. What the heck, man? Okay. Touch the after image again. Uh, this is... What? <laughs> I need to know more?
What the heck, man? Quick commercial break, everyone, to celebrate and give thanks to all of these amazing people who keep me on the air full time. Really appreciate the support. All you got to do is join as a member. You get access to private videos. You can also do super thanks on any upload or super chats and stickers on any live stream or premiere you see. And beyond that, don't forget we're multi streaming over on Twitch now, so you can support over there as well. Thanks so much to everybody. Let's get back to the video at hand. And suddenly, I'm at a house. Alright. Like, it's got machine gun turrets. Flamethrowers. It's called Victor Hammett's Territory? Okay. More turrets and flamethrowers. Solar panels. Holy shit, suddenly we're in like a Fallout world. Whoa, what is that thing off in the distance? Look at that, that freaking sci-fi tower. Whoa, I can interact with these things. It says it requires something I don't have yet. Whoa, man. <laughs> Alright, I can turn off the flashlight, yeah? Where are we? After some trial and error, I finally managed to add a working containment function to the cradle. It should provide quite it should prove quite useful. We'll have to make as many we'll have to make use of as many deviations as we can if we want to beat Rosetta. Okay, that Hang on, that's not what I wanted to do. Get up. Investigate. Our use of guerrilla tactics has delivered significant military success, so it's not enough. Rosetta clearly playing something big. If the Mayflies limit themselves... So I need to reread that. Rosetta is clearly planning something big. If the Mayflies limit ourselves to strike on my targets, we'll never be able to stop them. So they're thinking we gotta, we're going to have to go big. Diary number three. Received a disturbing report that Rosetta is developing some kind of secret new Silver Gate technology. Apparently, reopening the monoliths on the island and reactivating the Silver Gates wasn't enough for them. If true, this could prove catastrophic. Did they really learn nothing from Starfall? Oh my goodness. Tell me more. Journal entry three. Man, this place is frickin' fortified, man. Alright, well I don't see... I don't see a fourth journal, so... Talk to the creepy kid, we shall. B, you're still alive! Yes, and look what I found. A meadow. Only just woke up. They were kind enough to activate the cradle and set me free. Thank you, metahuman. This means a lot to me. You can call me Mitsuko. I used to be a metahuman as well. Rosetta did all kinds of experiments on me. That is, until V saved me. It's because okay. it's a very special meta. She can sense even the tiniest fluctuations in the stardust. It's thanks to her that I was able to take refuge in this place after Starfall. You're safe here. So this paper butterfly is the deviation you were looking for? Oh, no, no. What's Starfall? Tell me more. About 20 years ago, Rosetta triggered a major stardust fluctuation during one of their experiments. As a result, some great ones slipped through, entering into our world. Okay. They brought increased levels of stardust with them. That poison has seeped into every corner of our world now, spawning countless deviants. And other dangers. It's thanks to her that I was able to take refuge in this place after Starfall. So You're we were here. we were all Rosetta test subjects? That's what Rosetta does. At first, they just locked deviations away. But then they figured out that deviations could be harnessed to make humans stronger. That's when they started their experiments. In the name of human progress. Creating metahumans like me and you. To Rosetta. We're the future. And they're not wrong. Metahumans are mankind's last hope. We were created by Rosetta. 
but we don't take orders from them anymore. We left. We call ourselves the Mayflies now, and we do things differently. Mm. It's thanks to her that I was able to take refuge in this place after Storefall. You're safe here. Okay, so this is the deviation we're looking for. Yes, an emissary of sorts. I wanted it to help rescue other metas. The recent fluctuation must have startled it. The important thing right now is to secure it. See that thing in the center of the room? It's a device for securing deviations. This makes them more useful and safer to be around. Okay. Place Butterfly's Emissary in the Territory Securement Facility. Facility. Butterfly Emissary. Deposit. The Butterfly is recovered. I think it likes you. Attach wire? Unlock build features. Okay, so the facility now. Okay, Securement. Butterfly's Emissary. Deviant Power. Mood. Okay, there's a whole bunch of stats here. Learn more about DVC. I'm not going to click anything yet because I haven't learned enough about that. So, all right. Talk to her to learn more about the deviation. Deviations can be very dangerous if not taken care of. They can radiate stardust, which can lead to all kinds of unpredictable consequences. And this is why we created the Mayflies. We make cradles and securement units to keep deviations contained. We're trying to find ways for humans and deviations to live in harmony. We figure this is our best chance of cleaning up the mess that Rosetta made. Alright, so what exactly are they? No one's exactly sure what they are, just that they're not bound by the physical laws of our world. They came from another dimension, something we call rift space. When deviations get stressed, they release stardust. We think this brings our world and rift space closer together. Like with Starfall, sometimes it becomes possible to pass between the two planes of existence. And when that happens, all hell breaks loose. Alright, what are you trying to do? Some deviations are friendly, like the butterfly. But others, like the ones inside monoliths, are extremely dangerous. It's not practical to secure all of them, of course. But if we can learn more about them... Maybe we can find ways to live alongside them. That's the goal. Also, the stardust just keeps spreading. And we aren't sure why. Uh oh. The siren! Shit, it must have gotten through. Come on, Meta. A deviation from another world just entered this space and it won't go down without a fight. Take the butterfly with you. It can help. Okay. Well, we got an armor crate. Jacket, baby. And we got arrows. Did it put the jacket on? It did not, so I gotta equip this. How do I equip it? There we go. I guess everything else, it was already the first thing I had, so it's wearing it, but I already had the t-shirt, so I had to manually equip this. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Man, some of the colliders are a little wonky, but apart from that, it's been... Hang on, just I think I just need to hit G with draw. All right, deviation recovered cradle. Investigate the equip box. Facility. No, hang on. Why is it still attach wire? What does that mean? Huh. Oh, it says I need to seek revive butterflies. Every second. Hang on. Apparently, I need to do something over here. Synchronize to cradle. Okay. Come at deviance. Deviations are a special type of deviation that when aggressive will take instructions from meta humans once secured. They have different abilities. Make sure to choose a deviation whose ability is will suit your needs for your given task. 
Okay. The dormancy threshold. Okay, now we're getting into complex stuff. Uh, dormancy threshold for a combat deviation is not settable in defaults one. There's a one. A combat deviation is deviant power. Recover reaches full. The deviant. You can be psyched to the metahuman cradle via the synchronization buttons. When carrying a combative deviation, its deviant power is shown here. Using its skill consumes deviant power. Jesus. Alright. I don't know what any of that means. Okay. Now. Logging. Do I need to pick that up now? Might as well. Um, logging by hand. Get log. I need to freehand mining stone. So now we're getting into the, the the survival element. Well, the crafting element. Whatever. Dirty water? No thanks. That's what it was pointing at, right? He's using a stone to get wood. Alright, fair enough. Uh, I need some stone and gravel now. And oh my god, I wish there was an auto run feature. Here's some stone over here. I got gravel and ore. Set up a camp or a okay. Let's go over here in the shade, sirs. Hopefully it'll be shady most of the day. Use the simple crafting bench in a campsite to make basic gear, tools, and dishes. So I gotta I gotta say, the transition from really weird sci-fi lore, you know, creepy horror lore dump, and then all of a sudden pff, we're now in in craft and like crafting survival style. That's a very jarring shift, and there really hasn't been any explanation for that shift. Like, so it's that's very jarring. I'm, I'm gonna say that it feels weird. Okay, that's made. I need to make a rough pickaxe. It says. Okay. Well, one is a pickaxe. I know that much. So I need I need gravel and logs. Gosh darn! I hit the wrong button. Is that enough to do that next step? I think it is. Alright. Uh, crude pickaxe. Ah! I still don't have enough gravel. Well, poodoo, as he would say. I'm grabbing extra while we're here, just in case. <laughs> Sulfur as well. Alright, that's interesting. I'm sure all of this is going to be useful in crafting things very shortly as we get deeper into this. But I'll tell you what. Crafting survival elements, we know. Um, and 45 minutes in, so that's a good stopping point for this and for me to say I am intrigued enough by this that I'm going to play more of this. Um, I kind of went into this thinking, it, you know, I knew kind of what it was going to be about. But the story is pretty good so far. I want to know more, and when, when a game has me wanting to know more about the story, um, I'll give it a shot. So, so far I've liked what I've seen so far, um, and yeah, like all of this looks freaking amazing, and I can't wait to uh, explore some more and, and dive deeper into this. Like I said, there's a little bit of sci-fi here, there's a little bit of horror here, now we're into this like crafting survival element. Um, 
I definitely need to know more because I want to I want to see how this all blends together. So, um, yeah, stay tuned for the next one, everybody. And uh, thanks for following along. Don't forget to like, subscribe at the bell icon so you never miss an update daily streams here and on Twitch. Don't forget the Patreon and the Discord. We'll see you all in the next one.